um, terrific songwriter. Anyway, she says, hi, Mike. Uh, my question hi, is Melissa. regarding your string orchestration. The strings on the entire If Not Now When album were absolutely brilliant. What is your usual process when arranging string sections? I'm new to string orchestration and your work is a major influence. Please explain, Mike. <laughs> well, um, I mean, I think anybody who has any kind of a, a classical music background at all will have studied Bach. And mm -hmm. Bach is kind of like um, just the, the godfather of all, like, mm -hmm. you know, melodic and harmonic uh, music theory just he, he just kind of really he, he assembled music into like a into a matrix that that really really made sense and um, and so when you study um, like there there are a series of works called the Bach chorales which are they're very simple pieces of music but they're also very challenging and complex at the same time um, and they're just brilliantly written Perfectly written, actually, if you can mm. if you can mm. say something like that about a piece of music, and so all you need to do really is just be creative in your writing, like in your in your um, in the chords that you use. But if you if you pay attention to to some of the things that Bach did, and he kind of had his own set of rules that he mm. that he made up, and it doesn't mean that you have to follow these rules, but if you're if you're creative and you and you know if you understand how, what he was doing, um, you can get some really incredible things to happen. And I just find that if I kind of very simply um, pay attention to to the the rules that Bach was kind of abiding by, nobody made him do that. He just he kind of put this system together that that just works really well. And it worked. And when you I think when you understand those things, it's like the music just sounds really beautiful. It's yeah. like the things that, that 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 come out of that sort of way of putting music together are just, I mean, it just works really well. There are reasons why the that ty that part of music theory has just lasted for hundreds of years because yeah. it's it it's works. really it's really important. So <clears throat> I would say study box chorales and learn about. Um, you know, box rules of um, harmonizing a melody, and yeah. and then take that into whatever you want to do, and twist it around, and be be creative with it. Um, you know, and then break all the rules. That's yeah. the that's the whole purpose of it is to break rules. But if you want a good foundation, that's the place to start. Okay.